Councillor Cotter. I, Pauline Francis Potter, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interest of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Kia ora everyone and welcome. And um, I am um, Pauline Cotter and I'm representing the Shirley Papanui Ward, along with the lovely Ali Jones we have over here. Having served six years on the board, I have to say that I'm very proud of our achievements. And I think we're actually the best board in town, sorry Phil. <laughs> <laughs> we initiated Neighbourhood Week, which has been adopted by the rest of the city. We started Children's Day, now also a city event. The Groins Dog Park was a first. And just last year, we held our very first Edible Garden Awards. And I'm really proud of that. It's not a competition, it's a recognition <coughs> for gardeners and the passion that we all have for gardening. But now, our latest coup is being the only ward that has two women councillors representing them. <laughs> and I have to add that I'm so chuffed that our council is also being led by two awesome women. <laughs> so it's Big ups to Christchurch. <laughs> we, we might be low in, in, in quantity, but we're high in quality. <laughs> <laughs> and I do have to say how proud and humbled I am to be here to serve. And I want to thank you all for coming today to support us all in our inauguration. And especially my family over here in the back row, my brother Al, and my sister Rosie, who is actually watching this live uh, by webcast in Auckland. And this is the beginning of a new transparency that we're adopting here in Council, and all our meetings are open. So I think that's a great move. So hi, Rosie. <laughs> in the past 10 days or so, we have hit the ground running as a team, one team. It has been full on, ideas flowing and energy high. And out of the many goals we have set, one of the most important is that we are one team, as Leanne has said. And by that I say, yes, we are one team as a council, but we strive to be one team as a city. We want genuine people participation. We welcome it. Let's get smart and harness the skills and talents and energy that we have that's in our communities. Let's be the can-do council. Let's get the best out of everyone. Let's do this together. And yesterday I heard a song, and one line jumped out at me. You might say it uh, plucked a chord. But anyway, it jumped out at me and I think it's so relevant to us now. And it goes like this, and I'm not going to sing it, I'm going to read it to you. In time, all the flowers turn to face the sun. Isn't that cool? We're in the Garden City, and I believe that we are beginning to turn to face the sun. Kia kaha Christchurch.